Alder One here from the Eagle Way server, and today we're coming at you with tutorial number three. And today we're going to be doing basic startup on how to get started, how to get your first build going, how to get researching, just the basics you need to get started in Eco as a beginner player. So this is the spot I picked out here. I've traveled around this globe a little bit here. You can open up your map down here. As you can see, huge, huge world to work with. I've actually chose this location here. I have my reasons. I don't want to get into all of them because I don't want other people on the server to know exactly why I'm over here. Um, but for the main reasons, I got trees, I got food, I got sand, I got water, I got lots of stone and iron and stuff like that around here. So it'll be pretty easy for me to get my resources without traveling around. Being that the server just wiped because the server just just updated to 5.5 so we did a fresh out wipe for this update and everybody's starting new so we got no roads no nothing so I'm gonna start off with teaching you guys the basics and what skills you should be learning so if you press tab and go down here to your skills click down on that you're gonna have to start under survival there's no other way around it that's just how it works and the mandatory skills that you're definitely gonna need is you're going to need one in logging you are going to need one in the shovel, one in the pickaxe. Did I get that? Yeah, I did. And you definitely need your basic crafting as well. We can get into cooking and stuff later, but these are the ones that you're going to focus on right away. Most importantly, your logging and your uh, your basic crafting. You can do storage too. Actually, I'm going to go with that right off the bat because I know I'm going to need it. And what else do we got here? You know what, I'll wait for that other stuff just to be smart about it. All right, so now, as you see, I picked these skills out. So I've been giving all these items. I started with a little bit of food here. I gathered this up. Uh, berry bushes and ferns you can gather up without any harvesting skills. There is harvesting skills, as you can see here gathering uh, that's only for certain food items uh, most plants you can pick up by walking up and pressing E so you can feed yourself with that for now while you build that's the best way to do it but let's get this short and sweet okay so now I have a axe a shovel and a pickaxe so we're just gonna start off with wood wood is a very very basic starter house and this is what everybody needs to get started so we're just gonna get started with hacking this bastard down right here come on there we go, all right. Sometimes needs a little push there too. Now these guys you're gonna hack up into smaller pieces. You gotta make sure all the branches are broken off first. If the branches aren't broken, this thing's gonna be green or red or something like that. It's not gonna work, you're not gonna cut it up. You're also not gonna be able to cut up the stump. Okay, so you hack this up into little guys here. And we're gonna pick these guys up with E. And I think I'm just gonna plop down a quick little build just kind of right here and you'll notice that these are kind of automatically making a floor and it's because of the way I'm placing them I'm placing them up against that dirt piece but if I, you don't you can see it actually makes a straight wall most people spend the time on making floors I'm not gonna put floors in this the first part of my build is not going to require it I'm probably gonna be tearing this little tiny building down as time goes on so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut scene here and get this build together here and get to the next step so you guys can see what's next. All right, I'll be right back. All right, and we're back with our little shack. And there's a reason for our little shack, and I'm going to show you exactly why right here. So you remember this skill we got right here that we're desperately going to need here, our basic crafting. Yes, you're definitely going to need that. It's very important because it gives you this crafting table. Okay, and this is why you need your building. If you open up the crafting table, you can see that the status the workbench requires the following to function. Must place in a closed room, create a room first, yada, yada, yada. It has to be made out of wood. If you read through these, it'll obviously tell you exactly what table needs what. Every table has different requirements. So anyway, this is why we need the building over here. And we can plop this guy in right here and now you can see that it's functioning properly and now our last final step for getting our um, basic setup going here is we're gonna need to build this guy right here all right so I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna go get some uh, resources for getting this guy built up and then I'll be right back so you guys can see what's up 
All right, now we got our wood together for our research table, and we just got to get our stone, and then we got to get, what is this, plant fibers, we're going to get some of that too, so let's go get our stone, I'm going to show you guys how to get stones, some people don't really understand how the mechanics of it work, it's actually really simple, you're going to need a pickaxe and a shovel, which is why you're going to need both those skills, first you're going to pick the stone, that's going to break it up, now if the stone's broken up, then you can use a shovel on it. If you keep a bin nearby, you can load everything into a bin, and you can stack uh, 10 stacks of stone onto your shovel and move it like that from the bin into another bin if you like. I'm just going to grab it and move it on over real quick here because I can just cut scene. It ain't going to take me all that long, so I'll be right back. Uh, all right, we're back. I figured I'd show you guys how to get plant fibers quick. We're almost at the 30 amount here, so we can start crafting. And basically you're going to want to use a scythe on any kind of grass and this is going to give you basically grass seed and plant fibers. Now I got plant 30 plant fibers. So like I said, you're going to need your gathering st skill too, which is also in the survival. So let's recap real quick here. What you're going to need is you're going to need your basic crafting. You're going to need your cooking eventually. You're going to need your gathering. You're going to need your laborer, your logging and your mining and those are all for sure you definitely need your mining your wood gathering and harvesting basically anything that's a gathering skill you're gonna you're gonna need at least one point into that you don't need to put more than one point into it if you don't want to but you'll need at least one okay so now we're gonna go ahead and just shove this guy right in the storage here oh that's not the right storage there we go and now we should be able to craft this and let's see what the oh my god five minutes guys five minutes okay so we're gonna go ahead and craft this research table up and then you guys can see what we can do with it and we'll be right back after this short break and we're back once again here we go we got our fucking table finally here excuse my french but i'm fairly excited right now all right so let's plop this sucker up let's go put her in this corner here maybe uh, maybe up against this wall here. Uh, right there, I guess. Alright, now let's have a look-see. Alright, now you can see we have all these different types of skill books you can learn. Now, this is where it gets real interesting. You'll notice how I have carpentry open already. That's actually because I, I bought into the skill for it. And this is where the skill system gets extremely in-depth with this game. Is See, now I had to get basic crafting too to be able to start learning the carpentry book and then you need carpentry to do other things which is why the game is basically ba based on making sure everybody does their own kind of thing see I'm gonna be focused on basically like treasury and waste disposal and stuff like that um, while other players will focus on like smelting and there's another player on the server that's gonna f uh, be our forest ranger so he's gonna be working on logging so you gotta really split everything up and make sure that everybody has their own job if you really want to make your points worth wild. I hope this helped you guys out. This has uh, been a basic tutorial on uh, Eco 5.5. Uh, I will be coming out with some more updates on 5.5. There's a lot more tutorials to come because there's a lot more new stuff for all of us to learn and more bugs to find and a lot more fun stuff to do. So I hope to see you around on the Eco Waste server, guys. Catch you later.